we're going to talk about today is an absorption fridge and how they work. Um, what we're looking at here is a Dometic um, three-way fridge. This particular one is an AES. AES stands for Automatic Energy Selecting. How fridges are rated is by their cooling capacity. Um, there is an international standard that fridges are tested to and they are done independently from the fridge manufacturer. So they're sent away, they're tested and they come back with a rating. Now in, um, in Australia when you have a look at your fridge and you open the door there'll be a little sticker inside your fridge and in this case it's just here and it says climate class and this if you can see in here this says this is a T-rated fridge. T-rated fridge means it's a tropical rated fridge. So what that means is that the fridge is designed to operate at 43 degrees and at 43 degrees the fridge temperature will be 5 degrees. So um, there are four different classes of, of fridge ratings. So you've got uh, normal, subnormal, subtropical and tropical. Now each one of those is tested that the fridge's inside cavity temperature will be five degrees. So normal means with an ambient temperature of 32 degrees, actually normal and subnormal are both 32 degrees. The inside will be five. Then we've got subtropical, that's 38 degrees ambient temperature and tropical being 30, uh, 43 ambient temperature. In Australia it's always best to have a look and make sure that your uh, climate class and T obviously is the best for our climate. An absorption fridge means there is no compressor like a household fridge and it uses this maze of pipework, uh, water and chemicals to create a, a cold fridge inside. Now as you know, water boils at 100 degrees. This is almost a vacuum-like uh, situation that we've got here. So in this situation, in a vacuum, water actually will boil at 4.5 degrees. So down here in this bottom housing, we've got a mix of uh, water, ammonium and hydrogen. So what happens is the ammonium and the water is in here. The ammonium comes down through this bottom tube and here we've got our boiler. So with the three-way fridge you've got a 240 volt element, a 12 volt element and you've got your gas. So they're the three ways of heating that burner up which will turn those liquids into steam. So down the bottom here, there's our burner. So it burns, the, uh, heats up and boils the water and the ammonium, turning it to a gas. Comes up through here. Now these little dimples here, that's actually a water, a water separator here and here. So that's where the water is, um, is separated from the ammonium. So the ammonium gas travels up through this tube and then it comes into this one here. So this is called our condenser. So this is an ammonium gas going through the condenser. And you all know that with three-way fridges, you have to have a good flow of air over this, which is important because that is what then um, converts the ammonium gas back to a liquid. So the liquid ammonium then goes through comes out here, there's another little tube which is for any excess ammonium um, vapours that will then flow back into here. The ammonium liquid will go into here and into the back of your fridge into what's called the evaporator. So that's actually in your cool box, the evaporator. And what the ammonium does, the ammonium now mixes with the hydrogen and it removes any heat from your cool box. So well, what's the idea of removing heat? Removing heat means if the inside temperature of your fridge is at 10 degrees, 
when this ammonium and hydrogen goes in, it removes heat. So at 10 degrees, there's still heat in there. So it removes heat, might remove one degree of heat, bringing the fridge temperature back to nine. And so this is where you use your thermostat inside to then adjust the fridge temperature. So it could be minus, it, uh, well, in the freezer it might be minus, but in your fridge cavity, it could be six degrees. And if you remove two degrees of heat, your fridge is now at four degrees. So once the ammonium and the hydrogen go through here, it comes back out through this um, pipe work here. Um, and that is called your absorber. Now you'll see that that's on an angle. So it's a gravity feed situation where your ammonium and your hydrogen work its way back through into this uh, storage unit down the bottom where this is again a mix of water and ammonium. It then goes back into the boiler and the process just starts all over again. I hope that's helped in some way in understanding how a three-way absorption fridge works. Thanks for your time and have a great day.